up YouTube it's Pops Reviews back at you again with another review and this is a bit of a smaller review and a, a different review this is a this is a game that I, I, I got quite a while back and um, this is called as you can see here zombie dice now <clears throat> if you are into tabletop gaming this is a game um, this is a game that you would you probably know already uh, if you're familiar with tabletop games um, but there's a lot of people out there I realize that are actually not into tabletop games or don't really know about tabletop games. A lot of my friends even, for instance, they don't really know much about tabletop games or they think of them as uh, board games like Monopoly or, um, you know, all those kind of old school games. And there's a lot of a lot of different kinds of games out there like Zombie Dice and, uh, you know, Settlers of Catan for, you know, um, for those people in that type of genre. Or uh, a lot of miniature games that are like a lot of action in the miniature games. Um, so this game here, uh, I wanted to give it a quick review because this is actually something that you could get um, young and old playing. It's really, really easy game. It's not hard to set up, and like I said, it's you get all kinds of uh, you get all kinds of ages playing this game. So this is Zombie Dice. Um, so it comes in this container here. It's made by Steven Jackson Games. So this is the art on it here, and uh, so this is what you get. Let me just open it up here for a sec, and I'll get back to you guys here. Let me just open it up. Okay, so I opened it up here, and this is a, this is pretty much what you get. You get a little pamphlet uh, instructional here, zombie dice telling you how to play the game. Um, so you get uh, 13 dice here. You get uh, 6 green, 4 yellow, and 3 red. Now... Obviously, the red are the bad dice in this game. The yellow are the cautionary dice, and the green are the good dice that you want to get. So the premise of this game is is that we are the zombies. Okay, so you're uh, we're trying to eat as many brains as a zombie would. We're trying to eat as many brains as we can. So on the dice here, you have so you can see here. This is actually one of the bad dice. So you have a brain. So this is what you're trying to roll for when you roll. You're trying to eat the brains. Then you have footsteps. So what that means is when you roll this here, you would. Um, it means that the person you're trying to eat uh, got away. So this could get you a, a re-roll. And then you have a shotgun blast or just, you know, a gun blast, which means you got shot. So if you get three, so what you'll do is you'll put all these dice together. Now, the red ones are the bad ones. They have more of these blasts on them. The yellows, um, a little less. They are probably they're more of the uh, more of the runner. The 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 human got away, and then the green have more uh, brains on them. So what you do is you put all these dice in the container here. Okay, so you put all. Them okay, and then what you're gonna do is you shake it up. Okay, and then you draw three dice out of here blindly. So I'm just doing everything at one hand here. So I drew a green. And I drew a green and a red. Okay, so now I will roll these three dice and I'll see what I get here. So I get two, or th sorry, three shotgun blasts. Now if you get three shotgun blasts, you, you die. That's your turn ends. It'd be on to the next player's turn. Now if I, say for instance, got two brain, uh, let's say I got this here. So I got uh, a brain, uh, someone got the, the human got away, and a blast. So what I could do is I could, if I want, it's a kind of a pressure luck here. You could, you could keep your result. I could keep the one brain here and pass it off to the next person. If you had, you know, a few other people playing, you could pass it. And then I would score one brain. And you, you do this, you do the scoring until you get to... Um, amount of 13 and then whoever gets to 13 first then everybody else has to uh you can get over 13 as well um then everybody else has to try and catch try and beat your score and if they don't beat your score then you that person wins the game so you you know you need a uh you know pen and paper or whatever to write down the score for this as well but um yeah it's a really easy game and like i said like, so let's say i i wanted to score i could score one or I could decide, okay, um, I'm going to go for it. 
So I put aside my brain, I put aside my blast, I keep this green here and I draw two more dice. So I shake this up and I draw two dice out of here. You always roll three dice on your turn. Okay, so I drew two green and a red, as you can, you can see here now. So I roll this up and here I got two more brains. So I got three brains all together from the previous brain and now I have two blast. Now if I get a third blast, then I would lose all the brains I've collected on my turn. So I would decide, hey, I like what I have, I'm gonna keep three. So I would score three points, put the dice back into the container and pass it on to the next person. And then it's, and like I said, so it goes on until you have uh, whoever gets to 13 or over 13 first, and then everybody else in your group has a chance to try and, um, try and beat the score that they have. Uh, and then whoever has, Whoever, ha if they could beat it, then they would win. Otherwise, the person that had the original score would win. So it's a really easy game. Um, anybody could play this game. Like I said, young and old. And it really, it really has the uh, press your luck element to it, that which I like. And I think others like that element as well. Um, and like I said, I've seen stuff where people are just rolling brain after brain, even on the red dice, and you know, like it's it's crazy um some of the some of the roles you get in this game but yeah it's a great game like i said it's a game i don't know i don't know if you like you can't it's a game i wouldn't play uh <laughs> over hours and hours of but uh if you have a you know a gathering and you want to just kind of break the ice with a little small game this is something i would recommend because you know every, everybody likes rolling dice it's not too hard to keep score and um yeah, it's it's a really it's a really fun little game. And, you know, like if you have other games, even it's good to have, maybe have this one, have it going around while you set up another bigger game that you have in your collection or something like that. So definitely a, a game um, to consider. You know, this game you could probably get off Amazon. Uh, <coughs> I would assume probably in the fifteen to twenty dollar mark range. And there's also expansions if you're really really into this game. There's also expansions. Um, I can't remember the exact dice what they represent, but yeah, if you're but there is expansion for this. I think there's at least two sets, and then even the brains. Um, if you want to have actual little plastic brains to keep score of, um, they have those as well that you can purchase. So yeah, definitely a great game. Um, like I said, a good little time filler, all age approved. Anybody can really play this game from. <coughs> excuse me. Probably I'd say. Eight and up, ten and up, depending on, you know, if you want your children playing the theme of zombies or not, you know. Um, but probably at least ten and up would probably be suitable because it's just, you know, brains on a dice, the, the footsteps, and then the gun blast. So not too not too gory in, the, in that sense, you know, just imaginary type fun. But, you know, some people too, they, you know, might not want their kids playing this at, until a certain age. So... But yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a little fun little game. And like I said, a lot of people really know about this under radars. But yeah, this is definitely something that kills time pretty quickly and good for a little party game. So definitely recommend. I would probably score this, you know, for fun factor, probably a good eight. When you have a good four or five people playing this, it could get it could get fun. Um, uh, if you have more than probably four to five, it gets a little longer. You know, you're waiting for your turn and that kind of thing. So I would probably keep it to four or five at most. And and then obviously the score too, you could set the score if you're not happy with 13. Um, usually 13 is a standard, but you know, if you want to make it longer, you can make it to, you know, 21, let's say, or something, you know, and whoever gets score till then, you know. So it's a game, you can kind of customize it that way as well. So yeah, definitely a fun game. Definitely uh, something to look for in your hobby store if you ever get a chance and just want to kill some time and play a little little dice game here. So definitely, uh, definitely a good game, and I definitely recommend it. So thanks again for watching my videos, and uh, again, leave comments. Uh, if I'm more than happy to answer any comments if you have or any suggestions. Um, you can catch up any of my past videos, and hopefully I have more content coming your guys' way. So... Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.